Right now, there is no commercially available powered wheelchair for young children. And so for about $200, we can give that to these kids for at a very young age versus waiting until they're five, six, seven, eight years old for a powered wheelchair that costs about $30,000. Yeah, so Lily, she's, she's just about three years old. Um, she was born with uh, myelomeningocele spina bifida, so, um, which is, for, for, for those who don't know, a portion of her spine was outside of her back. She, uh, she developed, so um, because of that, uh, that injury um, in her development, She's basically got very limited motor sensory function below the area of her spine that was damaged. Fortunately, we're very blessed that cognitively she's really sharp and she wants to do all the things that other kids want to do. Um, she's just kind of gift wrapped a little differently. One of the main modifications we do is a large activation switch, which makes it very easy to press for our children with disabilities to do. And then the second thing that we do is we use PVC, fun noodles, and swimming kickboards to build up the seating support for them to make it more stable. And they haven't been, they haven't been a problem, but um, no. I'm not sure. Start with that one. Which one? Yeah, start with that yeah, one. Yeah, I, like I feel like that's a natural one. Do you want to drive in it? Okay. There we go. I want to drive she's in it. Ready. <laughs> what is, has it been like for you guys as parents to watch her being able to move on her own like that? It's it's huge. You know, I, I can't even just to just to see her being able to do regular kid stuff. She's not in a wheelchair. You know, she's she's in just a toy car like any other kid her age. It's never the same experience. It's always different levels of figuring it out, different facial expressions, uh, it's always positive. So it's been really great to see. I've probably seen about 100 babies go through this in the last you know, six months alone. So what's the future like for this organization? So there's about 3,000 children in the state of Oregon from birth to three that might be able to benefit from this. So the next stage is to try to find funding and personnel support to really try to maximize that outreach and get every family in Oregon at least to be able to know about it that the option is there for them.